kick back, grab some popcorn. It's time for a little inspirational theater. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. Well, I hope you'll give me a little latitude today. I'm trying something new. You know, I really hate not being able to give you guys a video every week. It's something I set out to do initially, but probably until I'm full time, it's gonna be hit or miss. Really hate to go more than two weeks, but doing a video every week is pretty hard when I'm doing a full time design job. Anyway, I was sitting, looking through some of my books, trying to get some inspiration, I thought, Maybe we could do that together. I wrote a little essay on how to find and how to choose and how to filter really good instructional sources and, and inspirational sources. Just some things you need to think about. I hope I wrote it in kind of a fun, interesting way. So that's going to be my narrative. And as a cast, sort of a stage of characters in this narrative, I'm going to be looking at some of the books, which are my favorites. A few of them. I have lots of books. I have lots of favorites. But I'm going to let you see a few of some of my most favorite. Anyway, just sit back and relax and enjoy. Maybe get inspired a little bit. And we'll see how it goes. I want to learn to paint, you say. Point the way. Okay. But to which path should I point? There are many, and they're all lined with signposts. Billboards, really all attempting to sell you on a painting approach. Which way should you go? Doesn't it all seem a bit like carnies shouting at you as you stroll down the carnival midway? Step right up, see how it's done. You don't want to miss this. As artists, we're bombarded with a midway of sideshow wonders in the form of painting books, video tutorials, courses, workshops, Exciting? Inspiring? Sure. But oh, the confusion and visual overload that inspiration can bring. Perhaps it all seems terribly exotic and inexplicable, like the carnival sword swallower or fire breather. Or maybe all those choices are exhilarating like a Ferris wheel. An exciting ride, but what then? Or maybe you're just struck with a demonstration of seemingly unattainable skill before you. Like a unicycle rider juggling his clubs and winking an unspoken taunt. Look at me, ha <laughs> ha, I have a rare talent that you'll never have. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Learning to paint well is no carnival sideshow. True, there are many sources crying for your attention making lots of impossible promises. But the Carney Calls are simply artists who found their passion and are anxious to share it. Some share it very well, and others, well, don't. And yes, the promise of great results often betrays the process when it turns out to be neither as quick nor as easy as they say. But here's the secret I was getting to. Really great art instruction aims at something more durable and practical by developing specific multi-purpose skills. Techniques that can be learned and mastered apart from a specific style or subject. And that's an instructional goal you can personally take charge of. Susan Harrison to Stain's book here is just one example. Floral painter or no, this book is so multi-purpose in the techniques it teaches, I really can't think of a style or subject that can't be applied to. And that goes for Ann Blockman's technique. Or Nita Ingalls. So, here's my challenge to you. As you peruse the many inspirational and instructional sources available, let the carnival excitement and all its hype and shimmer fade away to silent echoes. Imagine instead that you're quietly strolling through a field strewn with gems, each as precious as the next. Perhaps your pouch can only hold so many, but you are free to choose. Each gem is a particular skill or technique, a stepping stone, a valuable tool. Learning to paint well 
is to engage in skill building, collecting techniques applicable in many ways to many subjects and ultimately to the styles and subjects that matter most to you. Those are the true gems. As you choose and learn each skill, practice it, use it 10 different ways, then 50, then learn and use another, perhaps from a different source. Your skill set will come together nicely and yet a little differently than it will for other artists. Supplement by finding solid sources of incredible inspiration. The very best. Always look up and reach high for that inspiration. Eventually, as you build a solid set of skills and techniques, your unique artistic style and passion will find you. You won't have to go looking for it. Well, thanks everyone. I appreciate you indulging me in that little bit of theater. I will have all those books listed down in the description. So take a look. I'll include a Amazon link even if you're interested in ordering them. And those links will be affiliate links. So if you want to order them and use one of the links in the description, you'll also be helping to support the Mind of Watercolor. So I appreciate that. If this was something you liked, hope you'll give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, just hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time, guys.